welcome students we are going to start our first class that is number system number system already we have started in class 9 we have done that one but we will continue this one and here with this some important theorem or results we have to get one of these is your uh, euclid division lemma euclid division lemma what is lemma lemma means lemma is the proven statement which is used to prove some other statement jaise euclid division lemma suppose you are having the two positive integer a and b and there exist unique whole number q and r such that a equal to b q plus r r is what r is greater than equal to 0 and less than b then using this euclid lemma we can find out some other problem also we can solve that one just yes, for example we can prove that any positive even integer in the form of 2m or any positive odd integer in the form of 2m plus 1 how it will be let n be any positive integer when we divide n by 2 let q be the quotient and r be the remainder then by euclid division lemma we can write n equal to 2q plus r and r is equal to 0 and 1 so here you are having the two cases in case one r equal to 0 then a equal to what a equal to 2 into q that is clearly even number and if r equal to 1 case 2 then a equal to what a equal to 2q plus 1 clearly that is what that is the odd number so from there we can decide we can say that the any positive even integer in the form of 2q or any positive odd integer in the form of 2q plus 1 in this way we can apply this result for the euclid division lemma in so many cases and with this one more term one more result you will get that is the algorithm what is algorithm algorithm is the series of steps or well defined steps which is used to solve the particular type of problems one after another steps will be followed to solve the particular problem using this algorithms that is euclid division algorithm you can say also we can find out the acf of between two numbers for example you are having the two numbers suppose for example 16 and 24 if you want to find out the division algorithm using algorithm we have like to find out the acf So first we will divide the larger number that is 24 by 16. Then you will get the quotient as the one and the remainder as the eight. Again by eight we will divide the 16. You will get the two as the quotient and zero is the remainder. Zero remainder that means that will give the ACL. So 24 can be written as 16 into one plus eight, and 16 can be written as eight into 2 plus 0 so we can say 8 is the acf so applying these rules we can find out the acf and some other cases also we can apply this lemma or algorithm most important result or most important factor one you are having that is by using euclid division lemma prove that the square of any positive integer is in the form of 3m or 3m plus 1 so how can we prove that one? let a be any positive integer so when divide a by 3 let q be the quotient and r be the remainder so a can be written as 3q plus r Here r is what r is greater than equal to zero less than three or you can say r equal to zero one two three cases. 
we have to find out the square. Means a square equal to what it will be? Three q plus one ka whole square. So it will come nine q square plus b whole square if you follow plus six q r plus one. So when r equal to zero one two. Now case one when r equal to zero. So a square to be what? A square equal to nine q square plus zero. So nine q square can be written as three into three q square, or you can write a square in the form of three m. So where m is equal to three q square, that is an integer. But case two, when r equal to one, then clearly a square will come nine <coughs> q square plus six q plus one. That means three you can get common. So it will come three into three q square plus two q plus separately one. So it can be also written as three m plus one. Her m is equal to three q square plus three uh, q square plus two q. That is also an integer. So a square is coming three m plus one. And last case that is case three and r equal to two. So a square becomes what? A square equal to nine q square. Plus six to the twelve q plus four. That four can be written as three plus one. Means a square becomes nine q square plus twelve q plus three plus one. From there also you can get three from plus three, so it will come three q square plus four q plus one. Put bracket plus one. That means it is coming also three m plus one. Her m is also an integer. So any Square of any positive integer can be expressed in the form of 3m or 3m plus 1. In the same process, we can prove also that cube of any positive integer can be written in the form of 9m, 9m plus 1, or 9m plus 8. You will try yourself to solve that one.